And here's a look at our tower cam time lapse. We saw mainly sunny skies out there for the day today. This is looking off to the north and to the east. That's where the clouds are. And as you can see into the later frames of this image out here, we saw some clouds as the sun was setting. That is going to be the story as we go through the uh, the evening and then the overnight period. We've got a temperature of 23 right now at Fargo. It does feel like 12 with that wind up there at northwest at 12 miles per hour. Moorhead at 23 degrees and up toward Grand Forks at 26 with cloudy skies. Other temperatures show we have a 23 at Valley City, Langdon, at Devil's Lake, 18, Fergus Falls at 19, Detroit Lakes at 23, and warmer up toward Crookston there at 27 degrees. So the satellite loop over the last six hours showing we had mainly sunny skies out there. We're watching a few bands of clouds come down from the north. Everybody should see uh, mainly uh, cloudy skies or partly cloudy skies as we go through the, uh, the evening period and the overnight period. It's part of this system well up to our north. The snow Snow is missing us and into portions of uh, Ontario getting into Quebec, but uh, we are getting the clouds from that system starting to come down into our area. Other than that, we are just tracking some uh, some rain just off the Gulf Coast getting into por por portions of southern Texas, but looking off to our west, we are still seeing mainly clear skies, and this is going to be our weather as we go through the next few days. So as we track it through time, the clouds come in through the overnight period tonight, mainly uh, for the areas just to the uh, the west of, uh, just to the east of uh, the uh, state line, into portions of uh, Minnesota. We should be uh, not bad in terms of temperatures into the uh, lower to mid-teens for lows tonight. Mainly uh, sunny skies we go through tomorrow afternoon. May, they may see a few more passing clouds out toward Lakes Country. Another day, temperature is getting into the 20s, and then as we go through the overnight period into Monday. We're going to see clear skies, plenty of sunshine for the day on Monday. Temperatures over the next couple of days, not as warm as they were today, but still into the lower mid-20s is not bad for this time of year. Starting your day for tomorrow in Fargo, 14 degrees at 7.30 a.m. We will see partly cloudy skies. It will be mild for this time of year. Not as warm as today. Mostly sunny skies by around noon. Temperature at 19 degrees and by 5 p.m. We are up to 20, mostly clear skies. And it is quiet. Other temperatures, for your uh, Sunday afternoon, mainly into the lower to mid 20s out there in portions of the Southern Valley. A bit cooler tomorrow compared to today into the mid 20s out toward Lakes Country. They'll see mostly cloudy skies from this next system. We're going to say partly cloudy skies as you make your way into Northland. Temperatures still not bad under all those clouds. We've got temperatures into the lower to mid 20s out there and out toward the Northern Valley, mainly uh, near 20 to the lower 20s everywhere you look. Mostly sunny skies, and it will be a little cooler to tomorrow compared to today. So as we extend the forecast for your Monday, we've got mostly sunny skies, a high of 23 degrees. And then for Tuesday, partly cloudy, breeze. Easy. Our warmest day at 28th and 24 for Wednesday. We start to cloud up again. Cloudy skies Thursday, 24, 21 on Friday under cloudy skies. And then a big change for the day on Saturday. Mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures falling throughout the day. We're looking at Arctic air working its way in again. Look for a high of 11. It will get a lot cooler than that over the next couple of days. So enjoy it. We got six more days left of uh, some nice air. Hang on to it while we can. Yep. And uh, yeah, enjoy the sunshine over the next couple of days. Thank you so much, Justin. Yeah. Why a Duluth man believed he needed to risk his own life on ice and save a deer from the water. The incredible rescue and video in just a bit.